Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting session on show plan, logical and physical operators. I have divided the entire section in five different parts. Um, <clears throat> out of five different parts, the first part we're going to discuss about uh, what is the show, show plan, how the logical and physical operators are and uh, we'll go subsequently. So with this, let's get started. What are operators? Some operators basically describe how SQL Server performs a query or a data manipulation language which is DML statement. The query optimizer uses operators to shape a query plan to create the results specified in the query or to perform the operation specified in the DML statement. The query plan is a tree structure comprising of physical operators. You can view the query plan by using the set show plan statement. It is actually the graphical execution plan which provides options in SQL Server Management Studio or the SQL Server Profiler show plan event classes. Operators are classified as logical and physical operators. <laughs> so what is logical operators? Logical operators describe the relational algebraic operation used to process a statement. Logical operators also describe conceptually what operation needs to be performed. At the other hand, what are the physical operators? So physical operators implement the operation described by logical operators. Each physical operator is an object or routine that performs an operation. Let's say some physical operators access columns or rows from a table, index or view. Other physical operators perform other operations such as calculations, aggregations, data integrity, checks or joins. Now physical operators have costs associated with them. So in this session we have understood what are the different operators, how are they classified and uh, at the same time how the operators function. In this slide, we are going to understand how the query analyzer works. The query analyzer generates a query plan as a tree consisting of logical operators. After the query analyzer generates the plan, the query anal optimizer selects the most efficient physical operator for each logical operator. The query optimizer practices a cost-based approach to determine which physical operator will devise a logical operator. Usually, a logical operation can be applied by multiple physical operators. However, in rare cases, a physical operator can also implement multiple logical operations as well. Moving on with the operation operator descriptions. So I have have two, sorry, three columns in a table. The first column is the graphical execution plan icon. Second column is the show plan operator. And the third column is the description. So here, the first one is so basically we need to understand in the entire session I'm going to document about 112 logical as well as physical operators and uh, in order to do that I've divided the entire session in five different parts. 
So the first part we're gonna cover a few and the remaining all four sessions will have the remaining all operators descriptions. So the first one is the adaptive join. So what is this adaptive join? The adaptive join enables the choice of a hash join or a nested loop join method to be deferred until until the after the first input has been scanned. The adaptive join operator is a physical operator. So I have actually highlighted which are, which are all the physical operators and which are all the logical operators with two different colors. So yes, I mean once we look through we'll come to see how we differentiate each of the different operators. The second one is the aggregate. So the aggregate operator calculates an expression containing mean, max, sum, count, or average. The aggregate operator can be a logical operator or a physical operator. So it can be either of the two. The next one is the arithmetic of expression. The arithmetic expression operator calculates a new value from existing values in a row. Arithmetic expression is not used in SQL Server 2017. The next operator is async concat. The async concat operator is used only in remote queries such as the distributed queries. It has n children and one parent node. Usually, some of the children are remote computers that participate in a distributed query. Async concat uses open calls to all of the children simultaneously and then applies a bitmap to each child. <coughs> For each bit, that is, a one async concat sends the output rows to the parent node on demand. The next one is the assert operator. So what is this assert operator? The assert operator verifies a condition. For example, it validates referential integrity or it ensures that a scalar subquery returns one row. For each input row, the assert operator evaluates the expression in the argument column of the execution plan. If this expression evaluates to null, the row is passed through the assert operator and the query execution continues. If this expression evaluates to a non-null value, the appropriate error will be raised. The assert operator is a physical operator. Now moving on. So we have covered here till assert. Now we'll convert to a you know WinWord file. So now you can see the assert operator is a physical operator. So now you can see the assert is a physical operator. Okay, now moving on. Assign. So let's increase the font a bit. Okay. So the next operator is the assign. So you can see the arrow mark which says from where to where it is been assigning. So the assign operator assigns the value of an expression or a constant to a variable. Assign is a language element. The next one is the bitmap create. So the interesting part is, let's say when you open this SQL management studio, if you write any query, so let's say I change the database context to the 2016 CTP3 
and I am now running any query which has reasonable number of records okay and then if I select it and then if I enable here as you can see here the physical execution plan and then if we run an execute so you would be able to see the execution plan tab here once you hover your mouse you can see what is the uh, the plan but what we are going to discuss here is these icons like this is one icon this is one icon a top icon this is the select this is the select operator this is one operator top operator and this is one uh, the indexes right so like this if you create other join statements you should be able to uh, you know see uh, the different kind of other other operators so we'll probably touch base in the other sessions now coming back to the operator the next operator which is the bitmap create I'm here so the bitmap create operator appears in the show plan output where the bitmap are built bitmap create is a logical operator so I've actually highlighted all the logical operators in green and the physical operators are in yellow so you can see that easily uh, the next point is the the bitmap operator so if you compare the bitmap create and the bitmap both the execution plan icons looks the same so you have to check when you when you see because one is the logical operator and is the physical operator so you can expand that and you can see the description in the execution plan to identify if it is a bitmap create or if it is just a bitmap so bitmap the description is sql server uses the bitmap operator to implement bitmap filtering in parallel ex query plan Bitmap filtering speeds up every execution by eliminating rows with key values that cannot produce any giants records before passing the rows through another operator such as the parallelism operator. The optimizer generates when a bitmap is selective enough to be useful and in which operators to apply the filter. Bitmap is a physical operator. Moving on with the next one, which is very important, and that is bookmark lookup. The bookmark lookup operator uses a bookmark that is row ID or a clustering key to look up the corresponding row in the table or clustered index. Starting with SQL Server 2005, bookmark lookup is not used. Instead, key lookup and RID lookup, that is row ID lookup, provide bookmark lookup functionality. So, don't use the term bookmark lookup, instead use appropriate terms like the key lookup or the RID lookup instead. The next part is the, the next point is the branch repartition. So it is most useful in the parallel query plan. Sometimes there are conceptual really regions of iterations. All the iter iterators within such a region can be executed by parallel thread. The regions themselves must be executed serially. The parallelism operator at the boundary of two such regions which is called segment repartition branch repartition and segment repartition are logical operators broadcast broadcast has one child node and end parent nodes broadcast sends its input rows to multiple consumers on demand each consumer gets all of the rows so it doesn't fall into either a logical or a physical operator. The next point is the build hash. It's very important again in, in, in the X velocity and all other kind of uh, data science related stuff. So indicates 
the build of a batch hash table for an X velocity memory optimized column store index. The next point is the cache. Now as you can see it doesn't have any graphical execution icon. So you need to you know see the execution plan to identify that it's a cache. So cache is a specialized version of the spool operator. It stores only one row of data. Cache is a local logical operator. Cache is not used in SQL Server 2017. The next point is the clustered index delete. The clustered index delete operator deletes rows from the clustered index specified in the argument column of the query execution plan. If a where predicate is present in the argument column, then only those records that justify or satisfy the predicate are deleted. Clustered index delete is a physical operator. The next point is the cluster index insert. So as you can see, the delete in the picture, in the icon, it's actually a cross mark. So I think you can see more closely now, it's a cross, so it's a delete. If it is an insert, it will roll like an up arrow. So that means it's getting inserted. If it is a merge, you can see the merge symbol here and like that and so on. So the clustered index delete operator deletes rows from the clustered index specified in the argument column of the query execution plan. If a where predicate is present <coughs> in the argument column, then only those row records that satisfy the predicate are deleted. <coughs> clustered index delete is a physical operator. Moving on to the next one. This is cluster index insert. Cluster index insert show plan operator inserts rows from its input into the cluster index specified in the argument column. The argument column also contains a set predicate. Cluster index insert is a physical operator. The next point is the clustered index march. The clustered index march operator applies a merge data stream to a clustered index. The operator deletes, updates, or inserts rows from the clustered index specified in the argument column of the operator. Clustered index march is a physical operator. The next point is the clustered index can. The clustered index scan operator scans the clustered index specified in the argument column of the query execution plan. When an optional where predicate is present, only those rows that satisfy the predicate are returned. Clustered index scan is a logical and also a physical operator. So we need to understand that it covers both. The next is the cluster index seek. The cluster index seek operator uses the seeking ability of indexes to retrieve rows from a cluster index. The argument column contains the name of the cluster index being used and the seek predicate. The storage engine uses the index to process only those rows that satisfy the seek predicate. This can also include a where predicate where the storage engine evaluates against all the rows that satisfy the seek predicate. But this is optional and does not use indexes to complete this process. So as I said the previous one which is the cluster index scan like that this is also a logical as well as a physical operator. So with this, this is an end of part one. Please come back and join me in the part two session uh, where we will cover the other few logical and physical operators. I would like to see you all there in the, in the next session. Thank you all.